Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So, um, yeah, I don't even know what episode we're on, like 27 or something? I, I can't even believe I've gotten this far. So, um, I figured I'd show you a little bit more on Moonbase Alpha. Um, I know that, uh, you know, there really hasn't been too many episodes on it, nor, like, I, I've almost, like, completely neglected it and I feel bad for even doing that because Moonbase Alpha is amazing along with everyone stationed at it um sorry for the frame rate I know it's not the best I try to give you guys the best frame rate in my videos and um yeah so I'm gonna turn on the brakes here switch vessels and what we need to do is lift one leg. Hopefully it doesn't fall over because that would not be also not be nice. If you guys noticed I landed a little bit further away from here and I had to relaunch because I was being stupid and I broke all the things. And that's that's generally the consensus on every episode. I break all the things. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys, like, how I pick up these pieces, how I move them, everything else. Um, you know, it's kind of funny because I remember doing this for the first time ever, like, with this concept. And, like, I was just absolutely shocked and amazed and just, like, laughing and hysterically crying and everything else just because of the sheer awe and amazement of the things I have done. Okay, stop moving. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit what the process is in a sense for me to um, get these parts to the moon. And well, I guess not get them to the moon, but to get them, you know, in, uh, to move them around, I should say. Whoa. Turn on RCS. It's always too late. This thing's just slipping and sliding across the surface because it's, uh, on a very funky slope. Come on. There we go. Just let the docking port do its job. Just give it a little bit of a helping hand here. There we go. So, now what I do is because we're running low on RCS on the moon, and I need a bunch. Okay, there we go. You gotta steal some RCS. Now we have two new ha inhabitants to the moon as well, which will be Jonger and Riblin. Um, I don't plan on, you know, I, I guess, um, I don't even know how many people are in the moon base right now, to be honest. I think it's either two or four, because every one of my missions is either is always a launch of um, two Kerbals. So, I don't... Actually, no, no, there's only two. Um, okay, so now, after this, I, I have SAS on. And the reason I have that on is to make things a lot easier for myself. Um, after this piece is landed, if you can see, it's like a huge piece. So, I decouple here. And then I just turn the engines on ever so nicely. And I just bring this thing around. Oh, God. Oh, God. I think we might be having some deaths on the moon again. This is recoverable, I think. I'll just 
bring it down really nice and slow. Even if I lose all the engines on it, I don't really care. It's not... Yeah. So generally, this always kind of happens. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm not using this thing for anything. Um, generally, also, too, um, I don't get caught up on the moon base and all that stuff. So, now that I've gotten this piece, I raise the leg up. And hopefully it doesn't tip over. Now just engage these engines. I tell you, moving huge chunks of stuff on the moon is not easy. It's got to be probably as complicated as like when you design your first like interplanetary vehicle or you know it, it's always everything's trial and error it's constant trial trial and error um you know the more you optimize it the more it just wants to fight you so if anything i think i might be using some rcs to turn and i might want to switch to control from here and try to turn this yeah that is not working it is not liking that idea so better off just rolling backwards it's the best part about these rovers the functionality sometimes is just amazing now I with this rover though the one problem I have is I cannot maneuver quickly and I can only keep it to a certain speed because these legs, it, you know, it's like basically balancing on just like the very center of the mass. It's like, you know, balancing a ball on a needle. It's like you, you just even do anything and like you just breathe on it and it's going to like fall the wrong way. Hopefully I don't run into any of these other parts here. That would not be a nice thing. I do not like explosions near my things. The one thing they gotta fix, I guess, I don't know. Like if if they did it, I kinda would be upset, but at the same time I would be I'd kinda be okay with it. Is uh if they actually made it so you don't clip through the boulders, but I've already had so many travels in this game with, you know, just going around and driving around with these rovers that, like, you know, you get close to one of these boulders or something, you just kind of end up hitting it with a solar panel or something, and to have, like, all your solar panels clipped off would suck. So, I don't know. Um, my next one, I'm thinking about putting a moon bus. Um, I, I'm kind of it's just been like something in my mind like a lot of these things i've created it's just been like this little thing that's been lurking around and uh the moon bus would consist of basically a um you know one of these modules but on its side or something i'm not 100 percent yet like i don't know how i want to set it up it, it would be a very big undertaking not to mention like the amount of things I would have to get, like, I think it wouldn't be a one-step process. I think it would be more of, like, a two-rocket process. I'm just not 100% on it anymore. Um, just because of the sheer weight of the, uh, of it, it, you know, just of the thing in general. It would just be massive. So, I, I don't know how I would set it up. I have a few ideas in mind, but... You know, like I said, I've had ideas that just don't work. And I need to slow down. I'm going way too, very too fast. Um, yeah, I'll keep it to four. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, if I can just get this thing parked right in there real quickly. I will show you. But if it takes more than like a few minutes for me to get this thing all lined up then uh i don't know i might end up just kind of calling it so it's just kind of up to whether the game is liking me today or not which today it hasn't been a good day all i have to say 
as you can see I had to relaunch this whole module so that wasn't a good thing um, in other news um, once again I think I'll have to tell you if you guys haven't heard me on my other episodes or what have you um, oh god um, it's what happens when you move your finger without realizing um, I have to urge you guys once again go to Kerbal Space Program forums. The main reason being that it is a great community and everything that lives and breathes Kerbal Space Program is on there. Um, anything you guys would like have questions about. Um, something I haven't covered, you know, in some of my episodes and in my constructions and all, all my craziness of what I do, um, pretty much there's an answer for it on there already. I mean, even before I made a one episode, it was already there. I mean, this, this place is amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, I, I go on there every now and again. Um, I'm, it's not like I'm, I'm not a very ultra active user. But, you know, I kind of use it as a way to promote some of my videos and stuff like that. Not that it's like a spam website or anything like that. I don't use it mainly for promotion. I use it just to uh, see what, what's up in the community and, you know, see if there's any cool stuff I'm missing out on. Which, if you guys want to know stuff about, like, anything at the game in general, just, you know, um... Say you want to figure out, uh, you know, what what's going to be in the next expansion, possibly. Or, uh, not the expansion, but the updates. Say you want to know what's in the next update, and you're just unsure, or you heard rumors. Um, if you go there, there's almost, like, a good chance that it has been talked about already. Uh, it, it, this place is just amazing. I, I can't just... I, words don't even express how I feel about it. <laughs> but, um... Uh, the, the place, I mean, what else, um, I'm thinking about messing around with a few other games, um, mostly unnamed ones yet, because I really don't have any clue on what games I would like to play, uh, I'm, I'm still having fun with Kerbal Space Program, and I, it's not that I'm trying to, uh, you know, stop playing this or something else, I'm, I'm having perfectly good fun playing this, it's just, uh, you know, I wanna I wanna play some other stuff. I get a little bored sometimes, guys. <laughs> not 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 that this game is boring, but you know how it is. It's just you know you can only play a game like so much before you just kind of wanna you know relax for a bit and then try something else. And you know it's uh, it's a fun process. Not to mention, I just love uploading videos, so. It's, it's a win-win. This has got to be, beyond a doubt, probably the easiest piece I've gotten to join up. Although, I am having some problems now. Thank God. I thought I was going to get trapped there. I'm like, no! Um, let's see. I got to bring this down a little bit. Lining up pieces on the moon. Not a fun thing to do. I'll tell you that. If you don't believe me, try it. It's... Docking two pieces on a planet is got to be harder than docking. Just in general. I, I don't think I um, really appreciate the amount of time and effort that it took me to learn how to actually dock everything. Um, it's just... Uh, it's just a really huge project sometimes. It's sometimes it's not overwhelming, but... Definitely not something that is for the faint of hearts. Alright. 
this is why I need RCS fuel on the moon. I think I'm going to put a, a fuel station sometime soon just for my rover. Oh, this is this is looking beautiful. Um Yeah, that's I think that's about as good as it's going to get for right now. And I'm going to probably drop down a leg. And um See if I can turn it with the RCS fuel. Because sometimes these modules will let you turn a little bit. Alright, I'm going to try one more time. And if I don't get it by that time, I am going to call the episode. Um, sorry if you wanted to see me do this. There are other episodes of me doing this. But I don't want to burn tons of time and create 20 minute long videos of me basically trying to dock two pieces because I know how fun it is sometimes to watch these episodes when all I'm doing is like going back and forth and back and forth back into the left back into the left all right let's try this one more time um you know this back end isn't exactly lined as good as I want it but I can try to um, get this thing lock, dock, docked up here. I gotta turn a bunch and then turn back again. Come on, come on. It's just amazing sometimes how mean this game is. Um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna try something I uh, did before, which I just basically lowered the struts down, and then I just kind of um, I think I'm gonna retract a panel or two just to make sure this thing is safe. That way they get docked up really nice and snugly. I don't really need to worry about power. I'm not using anything. So, um, I'll have to lower down this strut and then see what happens. Nothing. Um, let's try, uh, jumping. What's jumping? All right, guys, um, I'm gonna do this off camera <laughs> while I curse and violently punch my monitor multiple times. Um, if you like what I, you, I'm doing here, subscribe, and um, I will see you next time.